Drum, Philly Film, Drum, Games, Drum. It's over. Welcome back to Philly Film. Wee! Hi, T Rex. Hi, T Rex. Bye, T Rex. Hi, Terry Pterodactyl. I'm scared. You already knocked the on his ass. It should be done. He did, it looks like he's coming out to do the monster mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a crazy old smash. So what? They're just gonna keep on coming at shit like, like your rats do? Ah, uh, sadly, I think they might just keep going. I want to hug you. Bye. We turtle, turtle. Am I not turtly enough for you? Turtle, turtle, turtle. Turtly enough for the turtle club. I've never seen that movie. I just know that line. I have seen that movie. And you're alive to tell the tale? Yep. That's amazing. So how were the last five, few minutes of uh, Dana Carney, David Car Carney, Carvey's life? Was it worth watching? That's... Yeah. Because... As well as there was like, eh, there's some funny parts, but that's about it. Because, uh, I know... He's never been the same since he left Mike Myers to do his own thing, and, well, they both committed career suicide, so what do I care? Yeah, just kind of... It's just Dana did it way faster. Because, <laughs> because, uh, Mike Myers did it with uh, the love guru. Which I've never seen. Um, I haven't seen that one either. Because it just seemed like the dumbest possible idea. Chips. Scooby Chips? Sure. Really? Um, I don't want to be mixing in your turds with uh, the ingredients, dog. That's just gross. <sighs> Not the best. Definitely not what I'm looking for, dude. Jesus Christ, they're coming down hard, this shit. He's like, where'd he go? Oh, I'm dead. You want some Yeah, it's like you don't even... I'm, I'm a spooky, scary pterodactyl. I'm dead. There's a clue over here. Scoob, there have been clues, or monsters all over the goddamn place. And you're freaking out still? Oh, a bike, bike chain, that's just great. Yep. My paws are rubbed, rubbed not. Yep. I can't fucking speak anymore. <laughs> I have rendered myself dumb. I've been struck dumb. Yes, I have. I have definitely been struck dumb. That's what happens. You become ABD and the next thing you know, you can't speak or say shit. All I was trying to say is that my paws have been rubbed raw. You did it. Yeah, I did. I'm so good. Oh, that's a slide. <sighs> oh, who farted? Not cool, dude. The mountain's farting. Because Wolfman's got nards. Probably never been blessed to see that either. Uh, that doesn't sound familiar. That's from Monster Squad. Mm, it's yeah. a cool concept of a movie. It's uh, the classic horror movies. Horror movie characters come back, yeah, and they are taking over a town, and these kids stop them. Mm. It was some. It was pretty cool. Like the 
the mummy they defeat by just unraveling him, and it, all that's left is like I think eyeballs or teeth or something like that. And uh, the the what the scene that makes the entire movie, or at least the part that will buy. Bye, bye Shaggy. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, at least he's got it in proper order. It wouldn't have been the drumstick, Shaggy. Yeah. Showed a little more care than that, you yeah. know, right away. But uh, there's a scene in that movie where uh, the Wolfman's got this one kid cornered, and he's he's like screaming, "What do I do? What do I do?" And his friend comes over and just kick him in the nards. He's like, "The Wolfman doesn't have nards." He's like, "Kick him in the nards." He kicks him, he kicks him square in the nuts, and he, you know he's hunched over and he's. Like, Wolfman's got nards. But that's like the whole... I was gonna say, that. it's kind of sad that that's like the... <laughs> the one... I mean, that's the thing that actually most people remember from that film. Is the Wolfman's got nards. But that was before... Because I, I, I will make this argument. Um, the family film genre did not come into existence until Home Alone. Do you yeah, agree or disagree I, with that arc, with that claim? I can definitely see it. Yeah, yeah, it's... Because, like, even before that, it was, like, things that could be... You know, they could be argued as, you know, family films. They were not... They were generically not very yeah, child-specifically friendly. Yeah. So, uh, well, that's because... It, what movie was it that created... Because, like, when I was little... PG-13 didn't exist yet. Movies were either G, PG, or R. PG-13 didn't exist yet. Which definitely explains why Spaceballs is PG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um. Uh, yeah, but like the, the, like the template that all family films now do comes from Home Alone. Family problem, whatever it'll be. You got for some odd reason you have to have bungling crooks that get um, you know in the way and then beat up somehow. Like that's that's just the template, and it's been that way for over twenty years now. That that's what you do. Like prime example, the Air Bud films. Why do they have to include a criminal? They don't need you to include a criminal. You already have issues as it is. You know, trying to, like, okay. Uh, Air Bud Spikes Back. Which is a dog vo playing volleyball film. It has no need for a goddamn story about criminals trying to take a diamond. Why do they need the dog to do that shit? They don't. They could do it without him. But. It helps. <laughs> It, it takes away from the goddamn story is what it does. And, uh... Ooh. This is a hell of a museum. I know. Hell, I'd like to go there. I'm not big on museums all that much. But it's, you know, it's it, it just follows that premise so much now that you just have to have the protagonist beating up on dumb dumb antagonists for what God knows what reason and it's been like that and it's so sad like like alright the original Home Alone is pretty funny mm -hmm. uh Home Alone 2 yeah it works but then everybody goddamn takes it over and it just no it just it falls flat well, that's not much of a clue. You'll end up eating it. You're a dog. <laughs> Scooby's the one dog that doesn't eat bones. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he's got a he's got a, a more sophisticated palate. Yeah. He and his stoner buddy. Yeah, they eat marshmallows with hot peppers, because why the fuck not? Oh, Shaggy. Oh, he's dead. Time to find a new buddy. Look at you go. Oh, you have to, like, stop yourself? Well, I, 
I have a feeling if I just slammed into the wall, I might be in trouble. Yeah, that would be that would be bad. Whoa, shit got real. Yeah, because I can't see where I'm going. I have to. Yeah, I always find it funny that levels do this, because it's just wrong. I mean, you could, you could get away with this in Sonic Adventure 2, because uh, it's Sonic and you just made it so it's just fast and fun. Mm -hmm. This is like, I can't see what the hell is coming behind up, up in front of me, and I've got this shit. This isn't good. And I'm being attacked. This isn't funny nor fun. Help! I don't want to be fed to a young. Then bend over. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Next time on Philly Film Games, you're ready. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> 